Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. These are the decks I'll be using for you today, so before we start as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So, this week, your intuition, or your, uh, sorry, this week, my intuition gave me the message for you. So every week when I do the weekly general, I offer you a weekly general intuitive message. And this week, your intuitive message was against all odds, right? This means you are about to have a breakthrough. You're potentially going to have, maybe you're having a moment where you feel like you're having a breakdown. Maybe you feel like something that you've been striving for is on the precipice and you're not sure how it's going to feel to have finally achieved that. And sometimes that's the thing that we are actually afraid of. Not the, not the not having it, but actually getting it, actually having or manifesting the thing that we've been working towards for so long, that we've been working so hard to create or to welcome into our lives. Sometimes the greatest fear that we have is actually having that thing that we say we wanted or that we've been working towards. And the intuitive message this week really is that against all odds, no matter what happens, you are about to see a success. You are about to see a breakthrough. And whatever happens out there, I know things are starting to get a little bit cray cray at the moment, but whatever happens out there, up in the world, etc., don't let that knock you off of your path because you are about to have a moment of breakthrough, a moment of success, and against all odds, you are here to win, all right? Now, for our destiny card for the week from the Human Design Oracle deck, this week we have, ooh, dun, 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 dun. okay, that one seems to want out. <laughs> and it is the gate 27 and caring. Now, if you were on the Venus webinar, we talked about this card in the uh, the Venus, the Bounty of Regal Venus webinar. And so the message behind this card is, uh, for me, Robins always bring good news, right? That's something that has been a phenomena for me for a very long time at this point in my life. And so this tells me that you're about to get some really great news, but it will be something so, so blessed or so big that you will be able to share it with everybody. Now, as a destiny card, this basically says that your tribe, your people, your connections, the connections in your life that make your life better, that make it feel like it is worth living. And more importantly, like it is... Um, like you are supported when you win and just as much you are supported if not more when maybe you don't win right but this is also potentially a message as well to pay attention that when you have this breakthrough this week pay attention to who actually celebrates with you and for you and pay attention who doesn't all right so for our direction cards, how do we best tap into or utilize this caring energy? How do we best utilize or even notice the messages in our lives that are gonna be helping us get to that ne next level of success? For this, we've got the eight of pentacles. So work, 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 work. <laughs> With the three of pentacles, so definitely working, but that's on the job working with the five of pentacles. The message behind this triplet is quite plain and simple. Not only are you working, uh, learning on the job, but more importantly, you're learning to do it with less. If that's not a message of against all odds, I don't know what is. And what I mean by this is, the Five of Pentacles is a, a card of loss or financial challenges or issues. I'm really sorry to say this, it does look like there are gonna be quite a few layoffs this month, potentially, uh, and some of them maybe start this week. So just keep an eye out for that now. What this also says on a more positive note is that you are learning on the job, that you're doing some kind of on the job training, right? Whether you work for yourself or for somebody else. If you're not, you know, if you're retired and not working or not looking to work, then this could literally be a skill set that you pick back up or bring back into the fold. And with that five of pentacles, it suggests that maybe you don't have all of the tools. Maybe you don't have the fanciest this, that, and the other, and the hujima what's it's and all the rest of it. Maybe you don't have any of 
the whistles and bells, but even still you're able to bring something that is considered a game, all right? This tells me that against all odds you will succeed. And what do we see here? All three of these cards are pentacles. So this does suggest it has a health slant for some people. For others, it will be financial. For some, it might be your living situation. For others, this may literally be about some kind of attainment or accomplishment. Uh, and the fact that you're doing this and you have some kind of major support, it's like even with maybe less than you would have liked or than you feel that you need, etc., you still pull through, you still come through, you still succeed. So I love this. I actually think it's great and I'm totally, totally here for it. So in terms of our insight cards, what's coming around the corner that we might need to know or be aware of? We have the page of pentacles. Okay, so there are gonna be a lot of changes of jobs and work this month, this week with the nine of pentacles. So that page of pentacles suggests that in, you know, things that are incoming are new skills, gaining new skills, gaining new knowledge, new wisdom, new insight, but also starting to wake up to the fact that your purpose actually is calling. Now, this isn't like, if you've been with me long enough, you know, I, I hate this idea that like, oh, if you haven't found your purpose by the time you're 30, then you, you know, you're on the square heap of life, man. And I haven't got time for all of that shit. I really don't because it's bollocks. You will have multiple purposes over the course of a lifetime. You will have multiple purposes, right? You, you, it's not just that you have one and then that's it, you know, life is over. This is about discovering what that next purpose is. This is revealing to you. The page of pentacles can represent the body of the soul. And so sometimes it can represent our true calling. The nine of pentacles, interestingly enough, as a card of refinement and beauty and the best that we can have, also speaks to finding something that doesn't feel like work because you love it so much. So this is linked to, these insight cards suggest that over the course of this week, a lot of people, maybe there's a lot of instability in the real world, but what this suggests is on a personal level, there is a very profound and a very powerful understanding of stepping into alignment with one's next purpose in life. And I love this. Uh, and with this, we've got the moon card, right? So interestingly enough, for some of you, this might be actually getting into something that you've wanted to do for quite some time. Uh, this does suggest as well that there are nighttime, nighttime pleasures and enjoyments to be had. And potentially a lot of people really enjoying things from the past. Something's getting a big resurgence this week. There's like a massive blast from the past. You know, like sometimes it's a song, sometimes, you know, and it's re-released and everybody goes mad for it. Sometimes it's a certain food or a sweet or whatever, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But it does suggest that something gets a resurgence this week. So we're gonna see something return to the wider world stage. It's gonna be popular once more and everybody's gonna be doing it. This could be a moment to cash in if you've got a vintage item and suddenly, I don't know, the 70s are in again and you know your parents never got rid of any of their 70s clothing you could be selling that stuff for you know x amounts of, of uh, higher pricing or whatever you know there's just an idea of how this may potentially show up now the other thing with the moon card because it is a nebulous energy this does suggest that there is a potential this week to grab onto and accept anything that we are told is our purpose. So it has to come from within. And even with this support, you have to ask the question, is this right for me? All right, that's going to be your greatest indicator of whether you should take a path or not is, does this feel right to me? Does this feel good in my body? And more importantly, are the people that are surrounding me telling me that? Um, you know, if, if you feel something is great, no, this is a, a wonderful opportunity and everyone around you is kind of like, dude, I don't think you're seeing this the way that it actually is, right? Um, listen to your people, especially the ones that are supportive that you know always have your back because they will be telling you where maybe you need to adjust or adapt or change. And they'll also be bigging you up when it really is like, you know what, this is for you. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.